Today we're going to be replacing the toilet seat. So, the most important thing to do when you're replacing a toilet seat is to figure out if you have a round toilet or an elongated toilet. So a round toilet, the bowl and the seat will look round and an elongated toilet will come out like this. I'll post the uh, measurement differences, but typically when it's round, the seat looks very, very round like this. And when it's elongated, the seat looks a lot more ovally. But all you really need for this, channel locks, flathead, and gloves. <laughs> this toilet here, it has this, and this is just to help seniors get up easier. Pretty much every toilet, and the lid is the same. You start. Back. Do a nut on top. Take that one out. So, take that off. Now's a good opportunity to clean with the Lysol. We'll open up our new toilet. The new toilet will come with a set of bolts. These ones are a little bit different and how they work is you actually just put the bolts in and then the toilet seat just secures to the top. These nuts go on that way. Just about tight. I don't want to do it. Make sure it's centered. Looks nice and centered to me. Take it off. And just snug them up. Don't over tighten this, but you definitely want it snug or you'll find it coming loose often. Maybe just like that. Twist it, lock it, and just like that, we have the accessible arms there, and we have the new toilet seat installed. So, ideally, you get one that doesn't have this locking system. You get one that was like the other toilet. These clips that snap, but these, this one just comes with clips, and they just pop right off with a flathead. So, ideally, you get one like that, but find a color that match. This is the only one that was a soft one in cream. But yeah, easy five minute installation there and uh, try it yourself. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next Handyman vlog.